The University of Washington is a public university in Seattle, Washington, and one of the oldest universities on the West Coast with nearly 45,000 students enrolled. The University of Washington Athletic Department is a member of the Pac-12 Conference and the NCAA. The athletic department holds nearly 650 student athletes and 20 varsity teams. There are nine men's sports and 11 women's sports. The University of Washington and the city of Seattle lack diversity in all races except for Caucasian and Asian. The total amount of diversity in Seattle is less than 30% for all people of color, and it's a reflection at the University of Washington as well. My project explores the issue of the lack of African-American demographics for out-of-state Black student athletes here at the University of Washington, as well as the lack of resources for them. Just like I stated in the beginning, UW is in a Pac-12 conference, conference, which consists of 12 schools located in the Western region of the United States. Of the conference, there is a lack of diversity in athletes, coaches, and administration. For athletes, the number of all white students outnumbers all other races tremendously. In the Pac-12 conference, there are 283 head coaches and 15 of them are black head coaches. Hispanic and American Indian coaches are not far behind with 13 and six, while, uh, while other races like Native Hawaiian don't have any head coaches in the conference. Taking the focus back to the University of Washington, black student athletes encountered the lack of diversity in the athletic administrators and head coaches. Out of nearly 250 staff members, nearly 10% of them are people of color. I think it's pretty accurate to say that the hit movie Get Out somewhat portrays the out-of-state black student experience, at least from what they told me. Sometimes being the only black figure on a team or in a classroom can be overwhelming. And when you finally see another person of color and get excited and greet yourself. Good to see another brother around here. Ah, yes, of course it is. There can still be a disconnect, which this can lead to frustration of finding a sense of belonging. Some might find ways of letting bygones be, be bygones and feeling like it's easier to fit in and compromise themselves for acceptance, while others choose to rise solo because they can't seem to fit in. And this causes exclusions from others. Some may have frequent phone calls back home or to their comfort place until they meet someone that they could see themselves getting along with. Some suggestions that I have to fix this problem is to enhance the Black Student Athlete, Athlete Union. Make this setting a kickback and a safe place for Black students and students of color to express themselves and freely speak on their experience on a court field or even in the classroom. It will also be helpful to have a guide of resources for African Americans, especially coming from out of state, um, that have trouble navigating for their routine needs that were easily accessible back in their normal state. Some Black out-of-state student athletes have to accept that these resources are not available or around them, so they figure out a new normal routine. While others carpool or even take public transportation down to Rainier Beach, South Seattle, or even as far as Tacoma to accommodate their needs. These areas in uh, the Seattle area have a heavier population of Black people, which makes it more accessible for other Black people to get things like their hair done, uh, eat their normal foods of soul food or Caribbean foods, and even find other people outside of the athletic department of color and share similar interests. 